hey y'all what's up we're back with another video so for today's video we're going to be doing something different we're going to be doing a marble ombre and this is a first time client so i have not had her before but i was so excited this was her actually her first time coming to a private nail tech i love getting new clients who come from just going to nail salons because i feel like every time they get their nails done with me they're just super surprised because of how nice their nails look so here i'm just prepping the natural nail with the medium grit sanding band and now we're gonna go in with my kiara sky non c curve square tips along with their glue and as you guys know i like to dip my tips into the monomer and wipe them dry just so that they can adhere a lot faster Now that I finished applying the tips and cutting them down to my client's desired length, we're going to go ahead and prep the nail tip. So I like to blend in the natural nail to the nail tip. I don't do too much, just go over it very smoothly. And I also like to create that C curve at the edge. Like I mentioned, these steps are not necessary. These are definitely optional. They don't make a difference in your retention or anything that really matters. So it's really personal preference. These are just the steps that I do. Once I'm done prepping the nail tips, I'm going to go in with my dehydrator and I do use acetone in a spray bottle along with Mia Secret Primer. After I apply the primer, I immediately go in with a clear acrylic bead. Not only does this step help with your retention, but it also helps prevent getting any lint on the primer, which can also lead to lifting. Like I mentioned, we are going to be doing a marble ombre. So first, I'm going to go in with Creations Blooming Gel and go ahead and start adding these different shades of pink. So I went in with a dark pink and a light pink, and I also went in with some glitter. All of the colors that I used are going to be linked in the description box below if you guys are interested. Once I finish adding all of the colors onto the nail, I'm going to start swirling them around and just kind of playing with it until I get the desired look. I wanted to make sure that there was still some clear peeking through, so I made sure not to pack on too much of the color pretty much after i finish swirling it around and i like the way that it looks i go ahead and have her set it in for 60 seconds and then i move on to the next one blooming gel does make the gel polishes spread a lot faster so that's why i do each finger individually because i like to have control over the design that i'm doing anytime that i'm using blooming gel for any design i'm doing them individually it does not matter how longer it takes just because you don't want to end up with a hot mess and another thing with marble designs they do not have to be identical that's the cool part about it. You could kind of just freestyle each swirl, make each nail a little bit different, and it's all going to still come together. This was a freestyle, by the way, so there isn't any inspo pictures. She kind of just came in, told me she liked whatever colors, and told me to just design something. So I said, all right, bet. I hadn't done a marble ombre in so long, so I ran the idea by her, and she was down. So that's what we ended up doing.
once I'm done with the marble design, like I mentioned, I have her set it for 60 seconds after each finger. So by the time we get to this part, everything is nice and dry. I know some people like to add a thin clear acrylic layer on top of the gel polish. I don't. I don't think it makes a difference, to be honest with you. So I just go in and straight up start ombre -ing. So I am using Bad Enough from Dynamic Nail Supply as the base color. When it comes to my ombres, I like to go in with a thin layer first just to kind of blend a little bit. So when I go in with my second bead, which will be my cuticle bead, I could blend down and it will be kind of seamless. A little more seamless than if I was just to go in with one bead. I don't know if that makes any sense. It just works better that way. I'm also very big on not covering all of the marble. I know sometimes, you know, it's easy to get ahead of yourself when it comes to the ombre and fully cover the other color, but I try not to do that. So baby steps, you know, smaller beads, it helps out a lot. Once I'm done doing the ombre, I'm going to go in with clear acrylic on the top just to encapsulate everything and make sure that I don't accidentally file any of the gel polish. I have gotten some questions on if putting gel polish on the tip makes a difference with my retention or just makes them break a lot easier and honestly i've never had that experience before everything has just lasted the same amount as if it was acrylic but i do make my structure very well so that can have a lot to do with it as well and also the thin acrylic layer that i do when i'm prepping I feel like it comes in clutch because if not, then the gel polish would be just touching the natural nail. So those are going to be the steps I'm going to be repeating onto every nail. I'm going to let you guys watch the process of the application and I'll come back to you guys once we're on our next step.
now that I'm done with my application, I'm going to go in and start filing. So I am using my 60 by 60 hand files. They're going to be linked in the description box below if you guys are interested in purchasing. You guys know I'm all about the perfect shape. So I go in and start perfecting everything, making sure that any imperfection is being filed away. I do have an in-depth shaping tutorial up on my YouTube if you guys want to check that out. If you go on my page and then go on my playlist, there's a how-to section and it should be right there so don't forget to check that out
now that i'm done hand filing i'm gonna go in with my fine drill bit i'm gonna go underneath the free edge and crispen it up i'm also gonna go around the cuticle and over the entire nail as i mentioned before i don't use buffers anymore this little drill bit has been a life changer for me ever since i started using this i have no longer used buffers so this gives me that perfect base for any design that i'm going to go on top with or even when you're about to do an ombre and you know sometimes that clear layer that you put on top to encapsulate it gets a little foggy or when you file there's a lot of scratches on it so when you use this drill bit it makes sure that when you add your glossy top coat everything looks super super amazing Once I'm done filing, I have them go wash their hands and then we continue on with the design. So I did forget to record the part where I added all the charms because we were kind of trying to figure out what she was feeling as for charms. She never really had charms before. So it was like, you know, it took some time to figure out which one she was down for and not. But here's me adding on the top coat. And you guys know I love this top coat so much. I'm going to have it in the description box below as well. It is a rubber top coat, so it's a little more on the thicker side, but it's super worth it. You guys are going to see in the end result. Super glossy, super amazing. But that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.